Well, Tom Gilligan is a hobby driver and also a full-time farrier. Following his drive on Rusty Crackers in the opening event at Maneagle tonight, I caught up with Thomas to ask him about his career. Well, Thomas, thanks for joining us after running a very good seventh with Rusty Crackers after the opening event. 151-1, yeah. you've beaten 7.3 metres and he really didn't get a crack at him. No, I was a bit surprised actually because, um, you know, he's up in grade again tonight and um, just needs a bit of luck and, yeah, but I was just happy you could sort of match it with him a bit. So, yeah, hopefully next time we get a bit more luck. You think he's got a race of this nature in him? No, not when we first got him, no, but, um, you know, he's just kept improving and improving and I think him and the dry, you know, just getting used to the style of racing up here and, um, yeah, no, we love we love coming up here, so it's good. It's a long way to come to run seventh. Now, you're turning around now and heading back to Albury, table tops, and that's a five-hour drive. Yep, yeah, no, exactly five, so five when we stop and get fuel, so, yeah, no, I was, you know, he's probably done a good job to sort of keep racing because I think we've done about eight times now this prep, so... I bet he seems to love it. He never gets worked at home, so he's um, really all easy to train. So, yeah, no, he's enjoying it. We'll just keep poking along while we're going all right. Your fiancé, Brooke McPherson, trains Rusty Crackers. As you said, you'll be heading straight back to Tabletops, just 20 minutes outside of Albury. That type of trip, what time would you get home and then start putting the horses away? So it's, it's, your day is not done. Yeah, well, I'm hoping um, Scott, Brooke's father, has fed him for us. So, um, But, yeah, we'll probably get home about midnight, I think, and... Um, bit of a sleep in the morning and yeah get up and do it all again so. now, as far as your career is concerned Tom you have won here as a rising star but that was about eight or nine years ago before Rusty Crackers won here previously yeah I was probably very lucky to um, get on a good horse that day so um, yeah no I really enjoyed that um, series it was really good so good bunch of blokes and that were on it and um, yeah we just like poking along with a few mate and we love doing it and we both got full-time jobs and and um, yeah so hopefully we just Keep having a nice enough one to poke along with and we'll be right. You said you've got a full-time job. That is, as a farrier, probably one of the toughest, if not the toughest job in the racing industry. <laughs> it's probably a good job for blokes with no brains, I think. So, um, yeah, no, I enjoy it, mate. I, we originated at Chuka and um, I met Brooke and, yeah, been in um, Aubrey last five years, six years. And, yeah, no, I do. I've got a sort of good client base there now and um, just sort of run from... Aubrey to Wagga and, and um, yeah, poke along a couple of slow champions and that's about it, so, yeah. Have you found the running around with the COVID-19 restrictions as far as the Aubrey wodonga areas are concerned? Yeah, it did. It's probably made it a little bit tough um, for me Victorian clients. I had to put them on hold for a bit, but um, I'm hoping it all ends and we can all sort of get back to normal. It's all slowly starting to, isn't it? So, but we'll be right. And what's Book's full-time job? Uh, she works at Hertz at the car rental mob, so she's been there for two or three years now and, um, yeah, keeps her going. So, yeah, no, we both both work and, yeah, and then just come and pot around with a couple. We've only got two in work at the minute, so him and another bloke, we're racing and, yeah, so that's about it. Back in May, you both enjoy great success at Wagga. You're, you drove your first Group 1 winner in the $100,000 regional championships with Rocky Creed and Rook backed up a couple of days later with Rusty Crackers taking the Walker Cup. Yeah, well, we all train at the same joint, so Brooks family and, and yeah, us too. So, and, you know, they've they've been doing it for a lot of years and, you know, they've just bred it in a real nice horse and, you know, they're lucky to win that regional Group 1 and um, I was lucky enough James didn't have an A grade, so I got the drive and... Yeah, we snagged it, and then he got on my bloke, or our bloke, in the cup and won the cup. So I tell you, we did have a big weekend for a big few days anyway, so <laughs> after it. <laughs> yeah, you sort of got to make the best of those times, especially in the current climate we live in. Third generation trainer driver. Yep. Your father, Shane's now out of the business. Yeah, he's um, given it away for a while, so um, he's just enjoying working, and and um, he's over at Shepparton now, so I still talk to him daily, but... Yeah, and then Ron, yeah, he was the start of it, but yeah, he passed away a couple of years ago, so yeah, no, nah, hopefully we just keep it trucking along a bit. Well, Tom, it's great to catch up with you after your commitments with Rusty Crackers. You've stuck around. I'll let you go now because you've got that long trip back home. Have a safe journey. Thanks, mate. Have a good